Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today we will talk about the new Peugeot 308. As you probably know, a few days ago Peugeot finally announced the long waiting 308 and to be honest, in my opinion, it comes with an amazing exterior design, also new digital cockpit, new multimedia system, new safety features and a lot of uh, things that make me uh, think that this probably is one of the best car in this class at least in the top 3-4 cars and in this video we will talk about all the technical detail uh, exterior, interior, all that stuff so stay with me until the end of the video also by the way if you're new on my channel just click the subscribe button to see all the notification when a new video will come out on my channel and until then let's go and let's talk about the car guys first of all we will start with the exterior design and uh, i have to tell you that the new peugeot 308 comes with a few changes in size the windscreen tilt and move backward and also they extend the wheelbase by 55 millimeters to offer even more space for the rear passengers the height of the car is 20 millimeter reducted in order to make the car more aerodynamic better looking and to add some extra sportiness on it because of the new improvement the car have a drag coefficiency of 0.28 also the new 308 will come with seven color to choose from special made for this design the new peugeot 308 it's built on emp2 platform efficient modular platform multi-energy platform which make it possible to add a full electrified version on this body and for this reason two hybrid version are available from launch probably in the future we will see a full electric version as well as i said before two hybrid engine will be offered from the start the first one, the powerful one, it's with 225 horsepower, it will come with a front wheel drive, it will be a combination of an 108 horsepower petrol engine pure tech and an electric engine with 81 kilowatt hour and they will be attached with an EE88 uh, gearbox and the co2 will be 26 grams also the great part and something that i like very much is the fact that this hybrid version it's able to drive only in electric range 59 kilometer of course according to the vltp in real life probably you should expect around 50 kilometers now the second hybrid engine will be with 180 horsepower also the same it's front wheel drive but this one it will be combined with a 150 horsepower pure tech petrol engine and the electric motor will be the same 81 kilowatt hour will be the same connected with the automatic gearbox ee88 with eight speed and also the co2 emission will be uh, with one gram less 25 grams co2 emission and the electric range it's also with one kilometer more will be 60 kilometer only in electric mode according to the vltp and also this is the good part here is that we see hybrid version of the cars have more and more electric range and this is perfect for going to work and home if you're not driving more than 16 kilometer or 50 kilometer every day now both of the uh, hybrid version will come with a 12.4 kilowatt hour battery pretty big for a hybrid and for a hybrid in this class uh, and the power it's 102 kilowatt and also you will have available uh, as standard a 3.7 kilowatt single phase charger and as an optional probably you have to pay some extra for a 7.4 kilowatt single phase charger if you're still fan of internal combustion engine you still can choose from petrol three cylinder engine with 1.2 displacement of course it will come with a six gear manual transmission or you can take it with an automatic e80 eight speed gearbox also you will have the diesel version with four cylinders 1.5 liters and then you have also two choices the same manual transmission with six 
speed or you can get the automatic one with 8 speed E88. Now the boot volume will be 412 liter with 28 liter under the carpet with the rear seat folded down the maximum liter it's around 1323 liters. Tires you have to choose from 60 to 18 inch and also the wheel design provide a better aerodynamic. Now something really interesting and something that I like this change I really like it in the center console if you pay attention there I see that Peugeot changed the gear shifter stall and now the car come with the shift by wire transmission something that we see also on the Volkswagen group we see on the new cars from Volkswagen group and also uh, the great part is that the car come with more space and it's much more practical and the design is much nicer Then also close to this stall we have the different driving modes electric hybrid echo and normal and sport mode That's really cool depending which mode you are the car will react accordingly and also the center console extend to uh, wireless phone charging so this time also on the car will come the wireless charging for the phone this is another extra that the car come with and also we have two large cup holders then it comes with two USB-C ports and it comes with 34 liters in storage capacity so around the dashboard in the center console in the doors bands in the glow box will have 34 liters so a lot of space right there in the front for the passenger and for the driver in the interior the 308 come also with ambient light eight colors to choose from that's really interesting and I think it will make the car interior look much much better now all the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and mirroring function will be wireless from now on so that's another extra and also you can connect at the same time to phones to the Bluetooth at the same time. The center screen will have 10 inch display and will be really customizable in many ways. It will have widgets and shortcuts and will be the same as on a tablet and it's much more improved from the previous version so I wait for such a long time that Peugeot really improved that multimedia system so in my opinion the new multimedia system will be a big plus for the car and in my opinion from the last cars this was something that it was really missing uh, from the cars the cars design was beautiful amazing quality in the interior the engines were really good and now the only thing that stay behind was the multimedia system somehow and now the new 308 come with a new multimedia system and that make me really happy i think this is one of the most important improvements also of course will come with updates over the air will come with tom tom uh, navigation system and all that uh, great stuff we will make i will make a full review of this multimedia soon so stay close guys now going forward also the 308 will come with a unique focal speaker premium hi5 speakers will come with up to 10 speakers so the sound inside the car will be also incredible in terms of driving aids and safety also the new peugeot 308 come with semi-autonomous driving and will driving assist 2.0 pack and will be available at the end of this year which will include adaptive cruise control with stop and go function lane assist semi-automatic lane change anticipate speed uh, recommendation curve speed adaptation i will go in all these details uh, in another video we will see that it will come at standard and optional with some new safety feature for example long range blind spot monitoring up to 75 meters rear traffic alert for example when you're reversing it will warn you if some car will be behind or on the side then you will have a high definition 180 uh, degrees reverse camera with integrated cleaning nozzle that mean many people complain that by a Peugeot in the past the camera reverse camera was having not so good quality and now the new 308 will come with a brand new high quality high definition reverse camera and then the car will come with 360 parking assistance with four camera front rear and side that's also a great thing I'm I can't wait to see it. 
I think all the camera will have high definition quality so will be really a great great system these 360 degrees camera are really awesome then you have the proximity hands-free start access then you will have a full defrostable heated windshield and heated steering wheel that means in the winter you just press a button you don't have to uh, defrost the windshield so it's really great I think you can also do it from the application if I'm not wrong then of course it comes with e-call plus emergency call with passengers number information and location that direct you to the vehicle and stuff like that then indexing the rear view mirror when engaging reverse gear so also when you go in reverse the mirrors will kind of fall down uh, to say like that and that was just a glaze of what the car can offer i'm waiting with big interest to to test drive it and also to review it though i hope you get some useful information from here of course in the future you will see on my channel the full review and the test drive also just click the subscribe button to see the notification when those video will come out in my opinion as a conclusion in the end i think they did a great job with the exterior design beautiful design beautiful lines very modern exterior and also the interior is modern and they add some extra features that was missing in the past for example the multimedia system i feel like before they were like one step backwards from the competition and now with the new multimedia system uh, with the wireless uh, connection between android and apple carplay with all these uh, e toggle that you can change and customize the different buttons right there i feel like it looks a little bit like uh, an audi you know it's it's the new technology the new screen i think will be just incredible now also with the new safety features the new cameras um, the new quality and the space for the rear passenger will be really interesting to see that in real also i see that they change also the front radar down there so for example right now the radar is no more down on the bumper right now the radar is behind the new logo as you probably see the new Peugeot logo look just beautiful and they also make it a little bit bigger I feel like it's a little bit more modern more new and the fact that it has a different shape they allow Peugeot to hide the radar be behind the logo and to make a, a bigger grill so that's that's a change that in my opinion look really really beautiful also the rims look totally gorgeous in my opinion also the aerodynamic and they help the car aerodynamic much more so overall i think they did a great job with the car um, i like it very much and i'm i'm really really excited to see it uh, in the next month so uh, probably you are too I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get some useful information from here. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching as always. I really appreciate it. if you have comments. If you want to ask me anything, just write me down below. I answer all your comments. I look at all and thank you very much. Stay safe and until next time, see you guys.